Up there. <laughs> <laughs> Bassmaster Elite Series Pro, Brandon Cobb here. So, I want to tell you about one of, I would say this is a non-traditional bait. This is one of my favorite baits. When I first grew up fishing, you know, in the late 90s, early 2000s, I felt like this was like your staple bait. This is like the Texas rig is nowadays, or the jig. But this is a floating worm. It's a zoom trick worm. We call it a floating worm because of the way you rig it, the way you fish it. And this is called Merthiolate, and this is Lime Truce crazy looking color really really bright but this used to be probably one of the most popular baits in the spring and it's kind of i'm gonna say it's fell off in recent years people don't throw it a lot this is one of my favorite baits for the immediate pre-spawn i'm talking like when they're going to spawn in the next day or two you're starting to see fish up cruising but they're not actually spawning yet or even while they are spawning this is one of my favorite baits to throw that time of year because you can cover water very fast with it and it also will it, it really makes these fish mad for some reason that time of year these really bright colors when they're up on those uh, beds or getting ready to spawn these bright bright colors it just really makes them mad and triggers them into biting whether they're feeding or not so the way i rig this bait is pretty simple so i rig it just like you would rig a carolina rig so i got my typical swivel up here I got me a stretch of fluorocarbon leader anywhere from 12 to 20 pound test. Doesn't really matter. You just need some clear line there to keep the bait down. And the main purpose of this swivel here, the reason I do this rather than your typical leader knot, this swivel will keep your bait slightly underwater. So you can fish a little bit quicker and keep that bait underwater to get that walking action from it. And I use a typical just, you know, offset worm hook, four or five alt. I believe this is a four alt. But you want to rig this bait. So I take it, hook it just like a Texas rig style bait, right through the nose. And the key with this bait is you want to get it, when you hook it, I always want to come out the back. They're kind of difficult to hook on this bait. So you'll come out the back, get straight. But this bait here, if you don't have it rigged perfectly straight, it'll do some crazy things. Some people say you want to kink in it but I don't like that I don't want the bait to roll I want it to walk back and forth so you want it straight as far as left and right you want to hook right in the middle zoom's got ZBC zoom bait company printed right on it go right in that C right there and then you know you're dead center on where you rigged it but the kind of approach with this bait I always throw on a spinning rod because it's kind of harder to throw this is just my Cobb series arc Cobb series kind of shaky rod it's a 7 1 medium. You can vary some. I just like this medium action because it's easy to cast, easy to work the bait, and has enough backbone to get the fish out. Typical is a X30 Abu Garcia spinning reel with some 15 pound Yozuri Super Braid. So I like the braid to help throw it a little bit, but the presentation with bait, you're essentially just throwing it where you think fish would be spawning or setting up. You're throwing over dark spots, stumps, anywhere you'd be throwing your wacky worm, you know, in the spring. And you can cover water a little bit quicker with this. And the cool thing about this bait is whether or not the fish eat it, a lot of times when you're fishing down the bank, they'll rise up on it and they'll follow it to the boat or you'll see them run up behind it. And when that happens, a lot of times they'll eat it, but even if they don't, you can pick your wacky worm up or whatever bait you're using and flip to where that fish came. And a lot of times you'll catch those fish and this is a good search bait to find them. Just kind of limits your time going down the bank a little bit rather than pitching in these dark spots. You can just make them rise up and see what they are. But this is an awesome bait. If you've never tried it, you need to try it in the pre-spawn, spawn right before the fish get on the bed or once they get on the bed. It's a cool bait, really, really fun to fish and it can catch you a lot of fish in the spring.